Hi, today, as you can see over here, we are going to go through this topic called salt. Well, most of the time, we use salt to flavour our food. Now, do you know exactly how salt are formed? The common salt that we use to taste is called sodium chloride. So, where exactly can you form sodium chloride? Now, does this name ring a bell to you? Yes, if you say that, I remember this from chemical bonding. Yes, you mentioned that before. Bingo! So right now, everybody take out your periodic table. And tell me, what is the first thing you do when you get your periodic table? It is always to draw the staircase. Now, after you draw the staircase, of course, ask yourself this question. What is the purpose of the staircase? Is to separate the metals from the non-metals. So, why is it that I bring this up? Because sodium chloride is actually an ionically bond compound. What is an ionically bond compound? Ionic compound. Well, if you can remember, I mentioned before, it's actually a combination of a metal and a non-metal. So, a salt is actually ionically combined Therefore, it contains two main characters. And which are the two? A metal and a non-metal. So, by now, you could be very familiar with formation of salt. So, let's just do a quick recap, okay? I say before, how do you name a salt? Well, a salt is a mister and a missus. So, mister, come on, tell me. It comes from where? The metals, right? Then how about a missus? I mentioned before, Mrs. come from my three basic acid, okay? But of course, in the world, we have lots more acid. It's just that for our syllabus sake, we just use three of them, which is sulfuric acid. Two more. Nitric acid. Last one. If you say, I know, I know, it's hydrochloric acid. Bingo, you can reward yourself, huh? So, if you use sulfuric acid, what is the missus name? Aha, uh -huh, it should be what? S-U-L-F-A-T-E, sulfate. Now, then how about nitric acid? It should be N-I-T-R-A-T-E, okay? So, they will focus on this and I'm sure you can see it now. Then how about hydrochloric acid? You will use this part called chloride. So, every time... When you want to formulate a salt, from the acid, you can find the missus, which is the which are all the pink one. Then the mister come from your metals, right? So how exactly do I formulate salt then? Aha, uh -huh, let's go back to our chemical reaction. So if you remember, acid have very a, a few chemical reactions. Now, right now, let's just recall, okay? I'm going to use another colour. Let me use a pink, a yellow one. So, acid plus metal carbonate. Okay, acid plus metal carbonate will actually produce three things. Salt, which is your main character, plus your carbon dioxide and water. Secondly, we have acid plus a metal oxide will also produce a salt and water. Next, coming up, acid plus metal uh -huh, will give you salt plus water. No, salt plus hydrogen gas, I'm sorry. Okay, now come back to here this part. Acid plus metal oxide, you must remember, I will include one more substance, okay? Instead of just metal oxide alone, I want you right now to remember, they will also include metal hydroxide. If you recall with me, what exactly is metal hydroxide? Things that end with hydroxide, I told you before, they are considered as Bases, okay? So if you remember, acid plus base, salt and water. Uh -huh. So do you notice that all the three reactions here, the main component, the main character, my main deal here is salt. Da -da -da -da. Okay, so all this reaction will produce salt, okay? And how do you name the salt? Using this method. 
So right now, I'm going to show you the example. So work together with me. Let's say for the first one, acid. Uh, what, what is your favorite acid? Well, I would love to use sulfuric acid. So let's just write H2SO4 plus a metal carbonate. Let me use a very simple one, okay? I love copper carbonate. Now, if right now, those of you that are watching, now if your teacher have not shown you copper carbonate, please ask them to show you. It's beautiful. It's green in color, okay? So I'm going to write down copper carbonate. And you will produce a salt. But I will leave this the last. Aha. Uh -huh. Give you some suspense. Okay, so I write down the common term first. Aha. Uh -huh. Now, a salt. The salt is a mister and a missus. So, tell me what is the mister here? Who is the man here? Copper, right? Ah, because that is the only mister, the only matter. So, copper. And who is the missus? Look over here. I say, if you use sulfuric acid, you should write down as sulfate. So, copper sulfate. Cu2 plus SO42 minus. Same charge, cancel away, CuSO4. Voila! And this equation is beautifully balanced. Ta-da! Your salt here. Okay, let's do the second one. Okay, okay. so I'm going to use the second one. Okay, now second, we use nitric acid. Let's not use sulfuric acid, it's a bit boring already. Okay, so nitric acid plus metal oxide. Okay, some of you will be wondering, Miss Alina, how to, how to mention metal oxide? Hey, look at your periodic table. Then just use any metal, insert an oxide behind, it's considered as a metal oxide. Then you will, you will dub and say, is it so simple? Yes, it's so simple. Okay, so since we use copper, let's continue to use copper oxide. Okay, copper oxide. Now, this is nitrate, this is copper oxide. Ah, same thing, I don't want to touch on the salt first. Let me put water here. And now, let's go to our main item, salt. Who is the mister here? Copper, right? Okay, I'm going to use a different colour so that you can see a different thing here. Cu2 plus. Nitrate is no 3 minus, okay? Nitrate, ah. So combine Cu bracket NO3 bracket 2. Okay. So now, let's balance it. Can you see over here? This is two sets of nitrate. I put a two here. And I have balanced it. Voila. Okay. Now, of course, this have a metal hydroxide here. So I'm going to do one more set. Let's say I have nitrate acid. Okay, pardon me. I use the blue color. I hope you don't mind. Okay. Plus copper hydroxide will give you same thing. The salt will be copper nitrate plus water. So what is the main difference? Well, it all boils down to your balance of equation. Nitrate here is two set, so I quickly put a two here. Okay, and then I put another two here. Voila, I balance it. You can check, okay? Now, moving on to the next one. Last but not least, acid plus metal. Let's use hydrochloric acid, which is your HCl plus I love using hydrochloric acid with magnesium strip. I can tell you the pop sound is confirmed we'll get, okay? <laughs> so, make sure that your teacher show you, okay? Plus magnesium. Same thing, leave the salt the last, but always remember hydrogen gas. Aha! Uh -huh. I say hydrogen gas, pop sound. Insert a lighter spleen, you will hear pop sound. Now, let's do the salt. The salt is magnesium, Mg2+, plus, Cl-, minus, so you get Mg, Cl2. Voila! Then let me balance it, put a 2 in front. Ta-da! Okay, these are all the examples to here. Some of you that are watching, you will be thinking, Miss Selena, can I ask you a question? Why is it that you use copper carbonate, copper oxide, copper hydroxide? This one? <sighs> Why you suddenly changed to magnesium? Why you didn't use copper? Aha! Uh -huh. Very good question. If you're asking this question, I can tell you, stay tuned, watch metals. Because I will explain the mystery of acid with metals under the topic of metals. See you!